The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here back again wearing my 84 jersey. Guys, I am excited today to try and pull for Randy Moss. There's also a Michael Strahan in the game. We've got most feared players. We've got all kinds of different crazy stuff going on right now in Mutt. So let's get into it, guys. I'm going to go over here and show you guys the bundle that they have in the game currently. Um, a couple things I want to show. Actually, first, let me go back here and take a look at the, uh, the pack that they added. The most feared legendary pack. This might be one of the best packs that they've put into the game. Guys, you're guaranteed a legend player and a most feared player. Now, the most feared player could probably be not anything spectacular, but you're guaranteed a legend player. Which is definitely not something that I've seen them do in a long, long time. And I, I certainly don't think they've done it in Madden 17. So, that's pretty cool. You can pull three of those for 90,000 coins each. Not sure that the price really justifies it unless you were to pull like a Randy Moss or a Strahan or something like that. But uh, even still, it's cool to be able to get those elite players anyway. So, what we're going to do today, guys, is we're actually going to do something that I haven't done a whole lot of this year on the channel. And that is we're going to rip a bundle. So, there are two bundles in the game. I'm going to do the smaller one because I just feel like the value is better on this one, oddly enough. So you look at it, six most feared legend packs. So we're going to get six of these packs. And then you also get a, a legend item from the 1029 release, which is today. So it could be Randy Moss, could be Michael Strahan. But it's definitely going to be a collectible, at least for one of those players. And you also get three gold most feared players. So those are currently enraged or morphed or whatever the hell it's called right now. Uh, so that is pretty damn cool. The 11 pack does guarantee guarantee you a full extra legend player and a guaranteed elite most feared player you can still pull elite players out of this as far as i understand it the uh from the golds like a gold slot you know so i think probably this is probably the better value right now so i think that's what we're gonna go with but i'm pretty excited about this guys so let's get right into it all right guys we got the points added to the account let's go let's purchase these things and let's get started man let's go all right, here we go. We've got, again, the six legend packs, the most feared legend packs, and the most feared topper. So I think we'll save the topper for last because that could be, like I said, a Randy Moss or a Michael Strahan. So we're going to save that for last. But let's get things started here with these players. Come on, man. All I want is one. Okay, so we start things off with an Emmett Smith. So that's cool. I mean, Emmett Smith's my favorite player ever. It's a gold legend. Probably not worth a whole lot right now. But uh, let's see if we can get anything beast out of this. So we get a Zach Streif. We get a Herman Moore collectible as well. Not bad. Okay. We get a Football Outsiders player. Come on. Give me this Randy Moss just one time. I would be so excited if I could get a damn Randy Moss. Here we go. An Elite. And it is a Charles Haley collectible. So we've got two Elite collectibles in this. I don't think either of them is going for a whole lot. Those are probably two of the cheaper legends right now. We did get the Zach Streif. Uh, and then we've got the Emmett Smith so far. So not a terrible pack. I mean, some cool stuff out of it anyway. And that'll do it for that one. So not anything crazy out of the first pack. But let's go into the second one and see if we can get anything better pulled out of this one. Come on, Mel Blunt collectible. Okay, that's cool because Mel Blunt's definitely, in my opinion, one of the better legends that's currently in the game. Chandler Jones and Alex Smith. Here's an Elite. And it is a, oh my gosh, a Le'Veon Bell. Let's go, dude. An 89 Le'Veon Bell. That is a hell of a pull. Let's go, baby. That's probably the best standard elite player that I have pulled this year. So I am definitely, definitely excited about that. I'm not sure what he's currently going for, but I know he's one of the best running backs in the game. So that is a great, great pull for me. Let's go. All right, man. That is a beast pull. I'm very, very happy about that. Mason Foster, there is our gold most feared player, Bill O'Brien. We get a Mike Singletary collectible, a Junior Galette. Come on. These packs are actually pretty cool. If you get a Sam Madison player there, it would be great to pull a freaking Legend Elite. Although I don't think you can even actually do that now that I think about it. I mean, unless they re-added them into the games because it, it would be like a limited time thing, right? So I guess you probably can't pull anybody other than like Randy Moss or Strahan right now out of those slots. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Kind of makes me a little bit happier that I didn't go with the bigger bundle, to be honest with you, now that I think about it. All right, pack number three. We got that Le'Veon Bell in that one, man. That is nice. We got two collectibles out of that first pack, too. We get an Elite here, and it is a Kevin Green collectible. Probably one of the worst ones that you can pull. That's okay. All right, Derek Henry. Another Mason Foster. 
hope that we can get something. That would be great to pull an elite. We get a Dawkins collectible. Or uh, not a collectible, a player. So that's cool. A, go a gold player for Brian Dawkins. Another elite here. And it is an Emmett Smith collectible. Okay. Again, Emmett Smith, my favorite player. So we're actually pretty close with this Emmett Smith. We got the Emmett Smith uh, elite. We got the gold player. We might be able to get ourselves an Emmett Smith after this. That would be pretty cool. Because again... That is my favorite player of all time. Randy Moss is right up there, though. Seriously, Randy Moss is probably one of my top five favorite players of all time. Definitely uh, one of my favorite wide receivers of all time. I, I think either he or Calvin Johnson is my favorite of all time. I almost just pulled that. That would have been disastrous. I accidentally pressed circle one too many times. But, yeah. Um, I mean, dude, if I could pull a freaking Randy Moss, that would be so freaking epic. So We still have these other random things, too, which I might do. Ah, you know what, dude? Let's let's actually open those up in this in this pack opening. Why the hell not? Let's uh, we'll do that before we do the topper. So let's continue on here with the legendary packs. I totally forgot that I had all those things, so that's cool. I, I think I got all those from doing solos. Maybe one from um, from uh, you know doing or getting the mutt rewards thing. But either way, all right. Tim Brown, a nice player there in '82. Come on. Give me. Okay, we get a Herman Moore collectible. I just accidentally glanced right over that. Gabe Jackson. So we're getting gold, and we get an elite. It is a Ryan Schrader right tackle, so just a standard elite player. But you know what, man? I'm actually just happy to pull elites because it's been really, really brutal for me in packs. And granted, I put money into this one, so I would expect to get a couple elites. But uh, definitely happy to get Le'Veon Bell and happy to get that base elite right tackle as well. We get another... We got two legends in this one, two gold legends. So we get a Ray Nitschke. I think that the gold legends are probably just absolutely tanked right now in price, given the fact that, um, you know, you can just pull them for coins, basically. 90,000 coins and you're guaranteed one of these. So, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. But it's still cool to actually pull those because I haven't pulled any of them in any packs at all this year. So it's cool to get a couple of them in a pack here. All right, next. I think we've still got one more. This might be the last one, guys. No, actually, it looks like we still have one more. So, all right, let's go. Cameron Gilliam, and we get a Mike Singletary collectible. Okay. Come on. I want to see that red flash again. We need more red flashes on the screen. Mark Ingram. Come on. These packs are actually pretty exciting because, like I said, there's so much cool stuff. And we get the legend Randy Moss player in 83 overall. That is cool. I'm definitely happy to get that one. I want to see what this looks like just like as ba as a base player. He has 87 speed. I was kind of expecting a little bit more than that. But even still, I mean, it's freaking Randy Moss. Randy Moss is so damn cool, man. All right. Jalen Ramsey. Cool. Not bad. And we get an elite here. Let's go. Who is it? It is a Sam Madison collectible. Okay. So we got uh, a couple collectibles out of this one as well. So yeah, we're getting, I don't know if we're getting lucky with those or what, but uh, it's definitely cool to actually pull some of the elite stuff for the legend players. So let's go back here and take a look at what we still have to open. We've still got one legendary pack. We got the topper and then we're also going to do these. So we've got a fright pack. We've got a couple of like the standard. I think these are probably going to be pretty crap uh, silver ones. And then we've got a gold one at the end as well. So, all right, one more legendary pack guys. See if Randy Moss is in here. That would be freaking epic if we could pull a damn Randy. And we get another Emmett Smith year collectible, okay? I mean, we've got a couple of those now, so we'll have to at least sell one of them. But um, i really like to actually make that Emmett Smith. because I would love to use Emmett. Although, I know he's not the best running back in the game right now, but he's still one of my favorites. So, All right, Gabe Jackson. We keep pulling Gabe Jackson. I don't know what the deal is with that. And Arian Foster, a retired player. And we get a another Kevin Green yearly collectible. Okay, Tony Romo, come on, Darnell Dockett, and this is our final player for the Legend Packs. Come on, one time, it's Lamar Houston, damn it. All right, so we still got some other cool stuff in here, though, guys. We're going to save that Legendary Topper for the end. We've got a Mutt Rewards Fright Pack, so we'll go through here, and we'll start things off here with the most feared Silver Packs, because I know that these are probably the worst things, so... That's fine. All right, we get a Mason Foster. Okay, so I might end up playing a game with, like, all the silver and golds that I have right now because they're, like, all 90 or above. So might as well, you know, might as well. All right, we get a gold player here, and let's see what we get out of it. We get a Zach Strafe. We've already pulled him quite a few times at this point, I think, like two or three other times. All right, so I'm not sure what the best order to go is. Oh, well, we got a couple of more of the silver players. I forgot, so maybe we can get something good here. I think these can actually still be golds. Get a Garrett Blunt. 
Blunt is actually probably one of the cool ones right now because he's got 87 speed right now when he's enraged with 95 freaking trucking, dude. Like, that is insanity. That card is just a beast right now, man. Like, absolutely a beast. His catching is also boosted right now, so that's cool. So, yeah. I mean, we'll definitely have to try him out at some point, I think. So, we've got a couple more silvers here. Let's see what we get. And we get another Zack Streif. Do they have a gold and a silver of him? That's kind of weird, isn't it? I don't know. We get Okay, so we get the full back there. All right. So, we'll do the beast pack last. Uh, I don't know what, yeah, again, I don't know what the order is, so, alright, most feared reward pack, I think this is the one that I got from Mutt Rewards, so, maybe there will be something cool in this, but I doubt it, and we get a Keanu Neal and a Zack Streif, so, really not anything great there, and last, but not least, we've still got these two here, Whew, come on, I know something epic is in one of these, come on, we get a Brian Urlacher, okay, I think that that's like the guaranteed though, I could be wrong, I think that that's like a guaranteed thing. Yeah, I think it is. So, either way, that's still cool. And uh, we get, what is that? The most feared beast badge. I, yeah, I don't even know what the hell this even is. So, uh, that's still cool. I think this you need this to like play the last ones or something like that. So, uh, I haven't been paying a whole lot of attention to what the deal is with these most feared solos. So, I'm sure that has something to do with it. Alright, so let's go, man. Mo Mutt Rewards Fright Pack. I really have no idea what, what is in this, but it looks cool as hell. I think that's Terrell Suggs on the cover. So, Josh Klein. We get a Shao Thompson. Or Shaq Thompson, excuse me. Jeff Fisher. Victor Cruz. Come on. We got to have some elites coming out of this. There's a lot of golds. Definitely a lot of golds coming out of this. We get a LeGarrette Blunt there. Come on. One time, man. One time with the Randy Moss. Come on. One time. Let's go. Jalen Ramsey. All right. So... We at least got uh, quite a few of the most feared players. So, yeah, again, I might have to play a game or two with the most feared players. I think that would be a lot of fun. Are these ones enraged at all? Like, anything crazy? No. Like, in previous years, I don't know if you guys know this, but in previous years, all of the players that were most feared during the weekend, uh, they were all, like, seven foot tall or higher. <laughs> like, it was insane. And then there was, I think, a, like, a Des Bryant that was, like, eight feet tall. And there was a Brian Dawkins that was, like, nine feet tall or something just absurd like that. So, yeah, I mean, it was a lot of fun in previous years to play with that whole, uh, the whole, you know, most feared sets and, and the players and things like that. So, all right, guys, this is the final thing. The most feared legend topper. I've seen people pull some crazy shit out of this. So, make it, <laughs> I would just love if mine could be freaking Randy Moss or Michael Strahan. That would be so damn epic. One time, EA. Come on, hook me up. Let's go. Let's do this one time. Come on. Let's do it. We get the Randy Moss gold player just to troll me. Come on. Let's go. Jalen Ramsey, okay. That's a gold at least. Cordero Patterson. We're down to our final one, which is, I think, just going to be a gold player. Yep, it is. So, I think these are the only... Uh, I think I didn't pull that Cordero Patterson at all. So, we've got quite a few of the golds. We didn't pull anything super crazy out of this. We did get that Le'Veon Bell, which was a nice pull. And we got a ton of legend items as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little long, but uh, we had tons of stuff to open. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. There was a lot of cool stuff that came out of these. I would actually recommend maybe, you know, like if you are going to spend money on packs this year, this might be the time to do it because there is some good stuff in packs right now. You can definitely get some uh, some amazing potential pulls here, even with just like the base players that I pulled, right? I mean, I got the Le'Veon Bell, so I mean, that was pretty damn cool. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on the video. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And with that being said, guys, that is going to wrap it up. Thanks again, and I will talk to you guys again soon.